tips. All of this is nonsense. It's not what I'm about, never has been, and never will be. Anyone who has ever stepped between those lines with me knows how hard I go, love me or hate me, but I'm gonna continue to grow and get better. Swagoo back here with us. Marcus, I'll start with you. Is the Kyler criticism warranted? Yeah, it's fair. It's fair because it's fair just like any other polarizing star quarterback for their franchise. And two, like we, we are getting to the point, Kyler's about to be in year four of his deal. We get to the point where we attribute the success of your team to who you are as a quarterback. We know Kyler is dynamic. He can play at a, high, at a high level like any other quarterback in this league. But the reality is, if you paid attention to Kyler Murray, his demeanor on the sideline is questionable. How he responds to adversity at times is questionable. How he looks at his teammates and how he does things when things aren't going well is very questionable. And as a player, as a former player, on the sideline, I don't want to see my QB pouting. I want to see him mad. That's fine. It's fine for you to get upset and frustrated. It's fine for you to get in guys' grill and tell them what we need to do. and what. We, but to, to some of the demeanor and the things that I've seen, they kind of relate to what's been said. Now, here's the thing. With a franchise, you don't want to let this get out, right, R with respect to what you're trying to do in your building. But ultimately, all you got to do is look. There have been instances where I've looked at Kyler Murray and I've had conversations with people about Kyler Murray that says when you see him going through like bad things on the field, when you see him on the sideline, his demeanor is not what you would want from your first overall pick, the face of your franchise. And then Kyler comes out with that statement. I don't, I don't doubt that Kyler wants to win. I don't doubt that he gets, he gets ready every season to have success. I doubt none of that. But what I do know and what's factual is I've watched the Arizona Cardinals fall off twice in, in, in towards the back end of seasons. And this doesn't absolve Cliff Kingsbury. It doesn't absolve Steve Kime. It doesn't absolve anybody that's not doing their job at a high level. But the, we're talking about Kyler right now. Face of your franchise has times where it looks like he's pouting and not ready for the moment in certain situations. And we got to call that out. Swaggoo. <clears throat> I'm an individual that doesn't believe I lose debates, to be quite honest with you, because either I'm absolutely yeah. positively right or I learn from the person who is right, and so I, I, I've, I've edified myself and I'm better for it. That's how I view uh, a debate situation, which is why I say I've never lost a debate. And I'm not about yeah. to lose one right wow. now. That's why I'm saying I'm not about to lose one right now. And I'm willing to go so far as to say that I'm going to get you to see my way on this one. Okay. Because... What you said, and I'm being dead serious right now, what you said, I don't disagree with your points. But here's where I'm going to get Swagoo, Marcus Spears, right to my side. Why the hell are we hearing about this now? See, that's the problem. That's where it gets shit. Got a great point. Everybody, great miss, point. everybody missing that. That's why I went off yesterday about this, the way that I do. I'm not in Arizona, bro. I don't cover the Arizona Cardinals. Yep. If you, if you, Cliff Kingsbury, uh, Cl Cl you know, Cl Cliff Kingsbury, and you're saying that Ty Kyler Murray doesn't communicate, okay, fine. You Steve Kime, and you know you got an issue with his communication skills, fine. You cats like Colin Cowherd and others, and you bring up the fact that quarterbacks need to communicate, fine. No disagreement. No disagreement whatsoever. But we hear about that now that he's due for uh, an extension, that he's open for an extension. You see how slick this is? See, when people get uncomfortable, yeah. no, they get uncomfortable because Stephen A is, is bringing up something and it alludes to race or whatever. I got news for y'all. I'm tired of talking about it. I want to talk about when talk sports. I want to talk about life. I don't want to talk about race. <laughs> I want to talk about black. Women. You think I don't have better things to do with my damn time? I do. But each and every single time, the American way seems to be about forcing people like me to address subjects I'd rather not address. My question is, why now? All of you pundits, all of you yeah. commentators, all of you aficionados, radio hosts, and everybody else, why now when it comes to this guy? Colin Murray been around here for three years. When we hear about this, Marcus, when, we, when did we hear, oh, you know what? He's difficult to communicate with. Oh, uh, uh, we, we, we can't talk to him. Oh, oh, really? Really? Yeah. Because, see, I recall 
Aaron Rodgers. I recall even Jay Cutler and, 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 and his depressing-looking self. I mean, the list goes on and on. But they got their money first. This brother right here is trying to get it. And now yeah. that he's trying to get it, now we're hearing that. But he, he was the best thing since sliced bread when they were 10-0. and 0. Was it 9-0, and 10-0? All right? They started off the season. They were flat-out balling. Oh, he was the man then. Okay? But now that you get bounced out in the first round, it's about him. You brought in a rookie coach in Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury, no disrespect, the house is beautiful, by the way. I'm very, very jealous of the crib that he had yeah. showing off for the NFL <laughs> draft a couple of it years ago. I, I, that's a crib I'd like to have. Here's the deal. This brother never coached in the NFL on any level, ever. No, sir. Ever. When he was at Texas Tech, I'm sorry, I, I heard Nick Saban's name. I, I, I heard Dabo Sweeney. I, I, I heard a whole bunch. Hell, I heard Jimbo Fisher. I heard a whole bunch of guys. I heard Lee Kiffin. <laughs> I never, ever, ever heard anybody bringing up Cliff Kingsbury. We had to Google and go to the audience. Who's the coach of Texas Tech? Who's this guy? We didn't know him. They how? said, he, listen, I'm how? going like this. All right, so how you elevate to the head coaching job, bypassing white and black coaches, Elevate to an NFL position, okay? Did it ever occur to anybody that if the coach was a veteran and seasoned NFL veteran coach, communication might not be the problem because they would know what to do say, listen, with a young dude like Kyler Murray? Nobody brought that up. That's why I made it. That's why I made it a point to say right. this does this does not absolve right. Kingsbury. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.